Caesar's victory at Pharsalus saw the end of the Republic. He became dictator of Rome for life. Pompey fled to Egypt, where he was assassinated on the order of Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII. Instead of winning his favor, this act infuriated Caesar, who had granted amnesty to his enemies, and he became drawn into the civil war in Egypt. It is 47 BC, and Cleopatra VII and Ptolemy XIII vie for the throne of Egypt. Julius Caesar supports Cleopatra's claim, but is outnumbered and besieged at Alexandria. His ally, Mithridates of Pergamon, marches into Egypt to relieve him. Ptolemy, intending to defeat this army, travels down the Nile River to meet them. However, it is Caesar who finds Mithridates first and leads a combined force against Ptolemy on the banks of the Nile. Julius Caesar has joined forces with his allies and is marching on Ptolemy's army. Ptolemy's position is fortified by nature. His hilltop camp is guarded by the Nile to the east, steep terrain to the south, and surrounded by marshes. Caesar must find a way to overcome Ptolemy's superior position and put an end to the Alexandrine War.
the Romans managed to exploit and attack the Egyptians from the rear, causing the Egyptian army to panic and flee from the battlefield. Among the retreat included Ptolemy, who reputedly drowned when his ship capsized. Egypt was now in the hands of Caesar, who then lifted the siege of Alexandria and placed Cleopatra on the throne with another of her brothers, Ptolemy XIV. He then uncharacteristically lingered in Egypt until April, enjoying a liaison with the youthful queen. 